9's Max Lewis joining us live now in Delphi with more. Max? I spoke with uh, both of the families today, and they are going to hold off until that news conference with Indiana State Police until they comment on this development. But Libby's grandfather did tell me one thing, that today was bittersweet. This case has completely consumed this community for nearly six years now, and you can see evidence, evidence of it right here. Pictures of the girls, the sketches that state police uh, released, along with that grainy photo that was taken on Libby's cell phone. These pictures are in windows across this community, really showing how much it's affected people and everyone I talked to today said they are sharing that very same bittersweet feeling. Wildfire across Delphi. I literally just found out like five minutes ago. Everyone telling whoever they could. Now my wife texted me and said uh, that they had made an arrest. I mean literally two minutes ago. The feeling when they heard that two little girls might finally see justice was palpable. Chills all over my body. Like, I was ecstatic, finally. Yeah. Some closure for the families. We're very happy. We're very happy as a community. The murders of Abby Williams and Libby German have consumed this small town for nearly six years. It was, um, you know, shocking that it could happen in a place like this. Shop owner Laura Green says the town has never been the same since. It's had a big effect. I mean, in the beginning, we didn't trust people. We were always looking behind our back. But the worst revelation today is that the suspect is one of their own. For those of us who came in contact with this suspect, um, it's kind of eerie. Now they say they can hopefully, finally, move on. Like a weight's been lifted. Really? Yeah. Off everybody, I think. Everybody's just going to be really happy. Peace of mind. Back to normal life. Yeah. You think for yourself? Too? Absolutely. But so many here know, for the families of the two girls, it won't be that easy. People who knew the girls will never be totally right. over it, I'm sure. Now, as you heard in that piece, this has really been a mixed bag of emotions for this community as they begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel, or hopefully what is the light at the end of the tunnel in this case. Again, we do expect the families of both Abby Williams and Libby German to speak at that news conference with Indiana State Police right now, scheduled for Monday morning. Live in Delphi this evening, I'm Max Lewis. We'll send it back to you. Okay, Max, thank you so much. We appreciate it. it